Hey everybody, welcome to another render demo, how to draw video. Today we were asked and some suggestions to create the Nike logo in perspective. So we are going to draw that right now. Grab a piece of paper. I have a mechanical pencil, regular pencil and a Sharpie. And I'm going to use like a red marker, a red Sharpie for this exercise. So I'm going to try to just freehand this right now um, and do this somewhat quick. So our perspective, we're going to draw the swoosh. So we're going to kind of come down like this, have a little hook, come out like that. And where our swoosh points, roughly right across, that's where the tail is going to end. So we're gonna hook this back. This is gonna be your widest point right about there. And hook that back. And get that just like that. All right, and then we're gonna take our letters and those are gonna come about halfway, almost, almost from the point here down to here, about halfway roughly. So we're gonna just draw like a base like that. And the E actually intersects the logo in this area here near the tail. And we will angle and italicize the letters out this way. So we'll have our N, we'll do our, so our N, I, K, and then the will come in here just like that and from from here to here so about like that so if this is the center roughly from here to here go up similar so our center will be about here and all of our letters will be italicized. So that's the I, that'll be the K, and then the E will be right about there. All right, so now your thickness of the I will try to do all the letter thicknesses similar to that. So right now we're not doing any perspective just yet. We're just trying to get the overall shape of the logo itself. So that's the bar of the K. Like that. And then the E's a little. Closer like this. Just like that. Okay, so now we have our Nike font. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna erase a few lines here and we'll start adding in the perspective. So the perspective that I'm gonna do here is gonna go out to the top left of the page. So all the lines are gonna kinda go off in this direction. So depending on how thick you want your perspective and your shapes to be, you can have them come out short. So it's just a short uh, distance away, uh, but whatever you end up establishing, um, so say that's the thickness I wanna come out, you wanna try to maintain that with 
with all your letters, that same, that same distance here with all of the, all of your lines. And again, I'm freehanding this. If you want to use a ruler, um, that's totally up to you. So again, all of our lines are kind of going out into, into space top left. So even down here, and then even as we get to the point of the logo right there, and that'll also go in the same direction. So this distance here will match that distance there. And then this, this angle here will follow that. So if you see this curve here, top of the logo, if you draw the top of the logo like that, that should come and intersect just like this all the way through. curve here will be the same curve like that okay so now we will use this distance here and I will cut right across like that okay now all of these lower edges, those will also do the same. And you'll join those together. Like that. There's our I. K is right there. This angle here, be that angle there, and the E's coming straight down like that. There we go. So now you have Nike in perspective. I'm just going to kind of clean up a few of the lines here. It starts to getting a little confusing with which lines are for what. So there you go. Okay, so now, now that we established that, I will go ahead and grab my Sharpie and I'm gonna start filling this in. So I'm going to start off with the actual, what I start off at, with at the beginning was my actual logo itself. So I'm going to use a Sharpie. I'm going to follow the original lines. And I'm just going to take care of like wherever these end and start. Gonna stop the Sharpie because I'm gonna color the logo itself in with a red marker and then all the shadows and all the thicknesses of the logo itself will go with like a darker gray color so I'm gonna do this E because it intersects the logo and I want to make sure I don't forget that this. Okay. And I'm going to go back over here to my N. I'm just going to do all the vertical lines first. And then I'll 
change direction. Like this. Before I do the perspective, I'm just gonna go in. I'm gonna grab my Sharpie or whatever color you want. Let's do orange, because Nike, their color is orange. So I'm just gonna use this orange. We'll go in here and fill in all these block letters and the logo with a solid color. Like that. Okay. And then I'm going to connect the bottom of the E with the logo itself. this. So those actually are connected. I'm kind of like one piece. Just like that. So that kind of blends together. And then now I will draw the other part of the perspective. So the parts of the shapes that kind of extend back like that. And I'm going to do the Nike letters first, actually, because the bottom, the swoosh part here intersects. So I just want to make sure that the logo, the letters are accounted for first because those are kind of higher up and then the top of the swoosh here will, is actually lower. So I wanna make sure all the letters are filled in and solid as far as a form in perspective first. And then we can make those connections to the bottom of the swoosh afterwards. Just like that. So now that I have my letters all in perspective, we can go and finish off the bottom of this swoosh. And that will just start and stop just like that. Cool. And then now I'll go with a, not, not fully black, but this is a 90% uh, gray. I mean, we can use a 60%. Let's start off actually with 60% and see what this looks like. You know what, that's actually better. I think 90% would be too dark. Um, so we'll go in and I'm just gonna start shading in all these shapes here. And what I like to do is, even though it's a marker, I follow the angle of the surface so in this case, these walls that are vertically aligned, those surfaces, I will try to use the ink from the marker and have that stroke go vertical. Because you'll start to kind of see lines from your marker in that direction. And that'll kind of makes it look better, more realistic if you follow the surface direction especially as your marker. In this case, it's kind of running, running out of some juice sometimes. <laughs> and then again, I'm just gonna go and 
in this direction for all these top surfaces. Just like that. stretch almost there cool now if you guys have a white prisma pencil you can go in and add some some highlights so um, recommend getting my how to draw basics book that takes you through lighting and, and shadows how to add highlights uh, and the reason for where highlights go but if you want you can add some some highlights and using a, a black prismacolor pencil you can start adding uh, shadows to make the, the surfaces look look realistic So you can hit all these top surfaces with a little bit of white prisma. Like that. Oops. Just like that. And also, if you want to do some kind of cool effect on the inside of the logo itself, depends on how, how fancy you want to get. But let's do almost like there's like a little groove in this logo. And what I'll do at the bottom here is going to be like a little bit of a highlight. It gets caught right there. And then over here, there'll be like a little bit of a recess. So I'm pressing really lightly here. And then there'll be like a little groove. It kind of extends this way. shape, darker shadow, just like that. Cool, so I hope everybody liked this video. Please subscribe to our channel. You get access to some of our new, new upcoming tutorials on how to draw things. If you have any suggestions for for future videos from us uh, please send us an email let us know what you want us to draw and we will try to make that happen all right so thanks for watching uh, and hope yours looks as cool as this does and we'll see you next time <laughs>